The Montreal Canadiens have themselves some pretty good prospects already in their system, so why not go out there and talk about a prospect on another team that could potentially become a Hab too? We're heading over to the Edmonton Oilers, because what they have is a prospect taken in the first round of the 2021 NHL Draft, who has indeed been discussed in Montreal Canadiens trade rumors. Let's talk today about Xavier Borgo. And when it comes to Borgo, he's a guy that I think is really noteworthy as an Oilers prospect because when it comes to the guys the Oilers have in their system, you have the Raphael Lavoise of the world, you have the Dylan Holloways who are kind of already on the team, for crying out loud, you have the Carter Savoys and all the other guys on defense as well. Borgo is one of the more interesting names because of the way he has progressed so far since his days in the QMJHL. He's 20 years old, 6 feet 172, as a right-handed center, as we had said, drafted by the Oilers in the 22nd overall spot in 2021. This was noteworthy, because this initially was one of the first guys that the Oilers pretty much took over Jesper Wallstead. They had the opportunity to draft Wallstead, but then traded down in the draft with the Minnesota Wild in order to get this pick for Borgo, as well as a pick later on in the draft to take Luca Munzenberger. But Xavier Borgo was a guy in the this draft that was supposed to be a pretty good talent. He had 40 points in 29 games played, was one of the best draft eligible players in the QMJHL, and he had 20 goals and 20 assists on top of that. You could note that if you watch some of the footage, Borgo was an offensive dynamo that had a really good finishing ability and creative offensive mind. The Dauber scouting report back from December of 2020, written by Tony Ferrari, talks about how he has deceptive off-puck movement. He shows the ability to find space regularly and settle into zones in the offensive zone. He has a knack for setting between defenders, which gives him a bit of time and space to do work offensively. There are times where his skating could be a bit stronger, but his overall mobility relies on timing and reading his opponents rather than blazing by them. He can be a wizard on the power play and make some impressive passes through the slot. Understanding what his opponents want to do defensively and proactively working to combat that, Borgo is a player you can rely on to help generate scoring chances and make a difference on the score sheet, even if he isn't having his best night. He may not be a difference maker, first line player, but he should be able to play a top six role with some very active and attack focused offensive game that relies on driving the center lane and working off his teammates. Now, after getting drafted by the Oilers in the 22nd overall spot, Borgo went back over to Shawinigan. He had 75 points in 43 games played, 36 goals, 39 assists, and he had 22 points in 16 games for the Cataracts in the playoffs. Needless to say, he was a pretty good player in the QMJHL, and he carried over that level of success shortly after into the AHL, where this season for the Bakersfield Condors, Borgo has 11 points in 21 games played. He's got seven goals and four assists on pace for a total of 24 goals and 38 points in 72 games on the year. Now, Borgo was honestly one of these guys that when I watch him, I'd seen this comparison actually pop up quite a little bit, and I don't know if I really want to say this for sure because some people might accuse me for pumping the guy's tires a little bit too much, but when it comes to how Borgo was able to create his offense, I see a little bit of Claude Giroux in him. Just that lethality, that ability to walk in, buy guys, shoot it up high on the goaltender, just really take over games with his finishing ability while also being deceptive on and off the puck too. Borgo is a really talented prospect, and a guy that I definitely do think has a solid NHL future ahead of him. It's just when you acknowledge that he is a goal-scoring Quebecois prospect in the Oilers system, and you have yourselves a Montreal Canadiens team that has a few players the Oilers might want themselves, the trade rumors that we start to see become pretty obvious. This is a segment on 98.5 FM on Montreal Sports Talk Radio, where you had Danny Dubé on the segment talking about the Quebecois center, Borgo, and how the Canadians might have interest in this guy. The article will be linked in the description, or not the article, but the audio hit per se. It's French, it's five minutes long, you can go ahead and listen to it if you want, but also included in this little link here is a written transcription, pretty much, of what Dubé goes out there and says on the radio. We can translate this into English because my French sucks. This all took place during the second intermission of the Canadiens and the Oilers game, where Danny Dubé went on the show and talked about a few things, primarily Sean Monaghan. 
Danny completed his commentary by wondering about the teams that could be interested in the services of a player like Monaghan on the Habs. According to Dubé, Dallas, Edmonton, and Colorado could try to dance with Kent Hughes by the trade deadline for the services of the center. Our analyst also adds that if Edmonton is seriously interested in acquiring Monaghan, the Canadians could try to set their sights on Quebecer Xavier Burgo, for whom Hughes has already shown interest. Now, I'm kind of just seeing that for the first time, Hughes wanting this guy. But when it comes to other rumors that we have seen, this actually was talked about a little bit earlier as well. There was an episode of Ryan Rashog's podcast, Got Your Back, where they talk about Oilers-related things, and just a few days ago, Arpon Basu was on the show to discuss a potential link between Edmonton and Montreal trade rumors. Take a look at this tweet made by Dennis King. Habs beat writer on Rashog's pod said that the Habs would trade Edmondson for a second or a third, Borgo, and pull you Yarvi. Sweet, merciful Jesus, that's probably worse than you would hear from a Toronto writer. Of course, we're not going to make this video about that per se, but I just wanted to talk about the idea of Borgo going over to Montreal in exchange for a guy like Sean Monaghan, for example. Because ultimately, I feel like Kent Hughes is in a pretty solid spot. All he's got to do is sit back and watch Sean Monaghan perform the way he has been and wait for some team to offer him whatever it is another team is going to want to offer. Because Monaghan is really good, and he's only got one more season left on that deal. He expires in the summer. So, contextually speaking, with the fact that the Canadians got a first-round pick to get Monaghan, and they have an opportunity to trade Monaghan away for another first-round caliber asset, whether that be a first in and of itself, or a prospect like Borgo, who is a first-round caliber guy, it's a pretty good win-win. And I feel like, with Sean Monaghan in particular, there's going to be a little bit of a bidding war, maybe. I mean, obviously Colorado has a few other targets that we've been seeing them get linked to, and Bo Horvat and Jonathan Taves. Edmonton has other targets like Patrick Kane and everybody else that they seem to be interested in. And then there are the other teams as well. Dallas was thrown around there in this radio hit, too, that Monaghan might be on their radar in some respect or another. But when it comes to the Borgo conversation, it is kind of interesting acknowledging prospects that the Canadians have apparently been linked to. Part of me wonders whether or not Borgo, already being from Quebec and the QMJHL, makes this a little bit more of a conversation that people want to have. We had seen the Canadians get linked to other prospects in the past, like Vitaly Kravtsov, for example, but that was usually just kind of a one-and-done thing. You didn't really see that persist for a while. For Borgo, there are already two separate audio hits of him being linked to Montreal, one in a weird Pulley Edmondson second and a third trade, and another being this Monaghan deal. So, I want Oilers fans to go out there and talk to me in the comments section. What is it about Borgo that makes him such a valuable prospect? There are so many things that I think you could talk about from the QMJHL progression to how he's doing in Bakersfield right now, just the individual skills he has, and whatever projections you have for him heading into the long-term future. But I want you to sell the Canadians fans in the comment section below why this guy is a good guy and whether or not you would want to trade him in the first place. If it's Sean Monaghan going over to Edmonton, it just kind of clicked in my mind, wait a minute, Monaghan was a flame for life. Imagine him playing with the Oilers and, I don't know, scoring an overtime goal against Markstrom in Game 7 of the Battle of Alberta rematch to take things home and go to the third round or the Stanley Cup Finals once again? That would be the absolute tale of a lifetime, wouldn't it be? But, of course, you know, Monaghan getting traded over to Edmonton, that's just one conversation of many that we could have. If you're an Oilers fan, would you want a guy like Monaghan heading over to your team? Do you think he is the answer to the depth problems that you have? And do you think Borgo is the price tag that gets it done? Talk to me the comments about your thoughts about Monaghan for Borgo. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.